Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Grant. In this video we're going to have a quick look at making the PowerShell ISE always start as uh, administrator. At the default setting, I've got it set up on my start screen, but the, you, if you're in the uh, menu or in the all apps, Let's see, let's go in the menu and you come down and you've got Windows PowerShell just here and here's the ISC so you can start it just here and it will start as a Windows PowerShell ISC. It's just a user, local user, as you can see from this down here. It's just local user. So let's stop that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the start menu and right click where you've got either pin or unpin from start, the resize and then more. And we run down here, we've got pin to taskbar, run as administrator, which is what we want to do, but we're going to make that the default setting. And then we've got open file location, which is the one we want. So click on that and it pulls up this and we've got quite a tree here but it's already selected for us and highlighted so right click on the highlighted file and come down to the bottom for properties click properties pull that up let's just minimize that for a minute now we're in the Windows PowerShell ISE properties configuration dialog and we've got general shortcut security details previous versions it's a shortcut we want, which is the one that opens, and we go to Advanced. Click on Advanced, and here you get the Advanced Properties dialog. Run in separate memory space. Should be checked and grade. If it isn't, just make sure it's checked. And then above that, we get Run as Administrator. And it gives you a little explanation. This option allows you to run this shortcut as an administrator while protecting your computer from unauthorized activity. So just click in the box there and make sure the little tick is there and click OK. And it takes us back to the PowerShell properties, ISE properties dialog. Click apply and click OK. Now if we go back to the start screen and just launch it comes up with the user account control which is not shown on the video because it's uh, overlaid and click yes on that and up it comes and as you can see we're now administrator in Windows PowerShell and our prompt has changed to Windows System 32 so now we can write our scripts and all of that sort of run our scripts all that sort of thing so we'll close that. Now to make it even easier we will pop this on the taskbar. So go back to the start menu and right click on the uh, icon go back down to more and it says pin to taskbar so we'll click that pin to taskbar here it is down at the bottom. Now to move it from there so that say oh, next to between Edge and Windows Explorer just put your mouse pointer over it press and hold your left mouse key and just push it over ever so gently and when you get to where you want to be release the mouse key that is release the mouse key and now when we start it you get the UAC again click yes and it loads and we're back in administrator okay thank you very much and have a great day and we'll see you soon